Hello everybody and welcome. This is my first review after visiting the London Super Comic Con. Whilst there I visited a place in space, a nice little stall there where I got this Chucky. And they gave me a fairly good deal on Chucky. Um, this is of course by Mezco. It's a very similar mould to that of the Sideshow Collectibles. Albeit this one has a solid stomach and can stand on his own. Unlike the plush stomach of the Sideshow one and needed a stand. So uh, thanks again to those guys there. Um, really, really, really nice figure. Uh, I've had a look around the box. As you can see, it's very much like the uh, good guy dolls uh, from the original Chucky movie. Of course, you've got the uh, uh, him with his hat and his skateboard, and it's pretty much exactly how he was advertised. Now, of course, Chucky, the actual doll, was about 25. Four inches ish. So this is about half scale, but I was more than happy to pay uh, sixty quid for a half scale figure as opposed to like the what was it, about six seven hundred pounds I think it was for a prop replica. He wants you as his best friend. Let him share your secrets. <laughs> Hi, I'm Chucky. Let's play. Uh, from the Bride of Chucky. Um, it was also used again in the Seed of Chucky. They used the same Chucky doll for that. Uh, so that's pretty much exactly the same. I kind of look at those as um, part one and part two of a uh, of a film. And on the last side, we can just see uh, him with his hammer, the Indian chief, and an axe. Hmm, Chucky does love axes, doesn't he? Just got him in the uh, blister card here. I don't know if you can see this. There's like a section cut at the back here. I'm wondering if he was originally meant to be packaged with some form of backpack. It would appear so, wouldn't it? Straight out of the box, I'm absolutely loving this figure. He's got a really solid feel to him. Um, the hair itself is uh, kind of a, a almost like a fake kind of wig hair. Um, so you have to kind of manage it how you would, so you can style it how you would, because it's as he's in the box, it's all kind of pinned back to the back of his head. So I've just kind of just given that a little bit of a tug. And this guy comes with a knife. That's something the Sideshow one never came with. It's, it's a pretty good knife. I'll, uh, I'll show you that when we take a closer look at him. But he's, uh, he's a really solid lump. Uh, he's fairly big. Uh, he's meant to be like 15 inch, but he, he's coming up about um, 16, I think, from like the top of his head to his shoes. But he looks superb. Just taking a look at the detailing on that face. I mean, those eyes. They literally capture you. They are scary. They look like glass. And the detailing on the teeth. He's got like yellow stains on there. He's got the split lip with the stitching. You can actually see up above the eyeball there with all the flesh. He's got the staples holding the side parts of the hair in. Got this metal plate there with the flap of flesh. Just the expression on that is pure evil. So I mean about the hair, you can just style that however you wish and scruff it up and chuck it as you feel best. Taking a look at the clothes, I've still got his uh, little elastic band on, we'll take that off. He doesn't need that on, does he? Got the good guys logo on there, obviously everything's scorched and torn. It's got the ripped pockets. Going all the way down to those good guy shoes. This is a fantastic piece. Good guys. <laughs> I am Chucky, you wanna play? I even love the attention to detail. I mean, this looks like a kitchen knife. It's fairly heavy. Uh, obviously it is um, all plastic, but it's still fairly sharp. And they're quite a rugged, rugged edge on that. Love the uh, blood splatter on there. Holds it quite nice in his hand. I suppose I could probably kind of fiddle that around a bit. Get in there, but these are doll's hands, so. As you can see, Chucky comfortably stands still without a need for a stand. It's a really solid body there. We've got a great ball joint on the head there, so you've got full range of movement. You've even got stitching underneath the neck through up to the ear. That is attention to detail. You've got 
a swivel kind of ball at the shoulder. Nothing. Oh, you have got. You've got a swivel on the elbow. That's all one for the hand. Nothing on the waist. You've got a kind of in and out motion on the thigh, and you've got a pivot at the ankle. So, for a doll, he's got a lot of articulation. All in all, I am extremely happy with this piece. He's going to look superb up on display. My wife hates it because it scares the life out of her. But I just think, I mean, if you're a horror fan or just a Chucky fan, this has got to be a must. It's a fraction of the cost of the sideshow piece with added articulation, a knife, and wow, the attention to detail is phenomenal. Now I know later on in the year um, Mezco are releasing the kind of untouched Chucky. He's got the fresh doll face, he's got the fresh clothes and he will also have sayings. So um, you should be able to press his stomach and he will talk to you. Now I believe some of the sayings are good guy sayings and some of them are, uh, are Charles's sayings. So that may be a slightly R-rated review but we shall see when the time comes. Until next time guys, thanks for watching from me and Charles, goodbye.